draw the development of uh, part p of the square prism shown in figure here square prism is resting on its base on the hp and a circular hole is uh, drilled something like this in the square prism some portion of the hole is coming out of the prism for this portion which is inside the prism you have to draw the development now as the square prism is uh, resting on the hp we have to start our problem from the top view so observe here i am drawing the xy line and with respect to this xy line i am drawing the top view of the square prism here one more condition given is uh, all the vertical face of the prism are equal inclined to vp when all the face of the square prism are equal inclined to vp you have to consider the angle of inclination of the vertical face as 45 degrees now try a 45 degree line like this along this line you construct the square like this along this line you construct a square this is the top view now i am giving the names for the top view this side has given as 25 25 mm side i am taking here this corner i am naming as a this is b c d this is the top base bottom base also for uh, bottom base also i'll give the same names a b c d that's why i'm not writing those bottom base names now from this top you project the front view i'm drawing the projectors here i'm taking the length of the axis and i'm projecting the top view like this sorry from the top view i'm projecting the front view like this here this corner is a dash here this line is representing two face edges b dash comma d dash this is representing only one face edge c dash bottom side also i will give the same names that way i am uh, not considering i am neglecting this uh, bottom base same names you can consider on the bottom side also now at the midpoint of the axis draw a horizontal line parallel to the xy now from this midpoint that means at distance of 9 you draw a circle of radius 15 as shown here so this portion of the circle is out of the prism so we it is not necessary to consider this portion when a circular hole of uh, this particular uh, shape is inside this square prism for that case i want to draw the development now observe i am dividing this circle into eight parts then these three parts are coming out of the prism that's why I neglect these three parts and here circle and face at ga both are intersected so here i have to consider one more point so here i can i'll consider one point here i'll consider two points with respect to this intersection of circle and this face at i'll get the extra two points now i am giving the names for all these points so these are the points this is 1 dash 2 dash this point is 3 dash this is 4 dash this is 5 dash 6 dash and this last point is 7 dash so now i am getting 7 points on this circle now we have transferred all these 7 points onto the development so to get the development draw two stretch out lines from top base and bottom base and you transfer all these points to the top view also now i am transferring 1 dash and 7 dash points to the top view so automatically these 1 7 points are on face edge a so here that face edge is represented with a corner in the top view here i'll get 1 and 7 points now observe where we will get 2 and 6 points so when i am drawing a projector like this 2 and 6 points will lie on a b face as well as on the a d face so in between a b somewhere here i will get 2 and 6 points at this much height and this much height ok so i will transfer 2 6 points to the face a b something like this and also onto the face a d somewhere here now transfer 3 and 5 points now observe I am drawing a projector 3 and 5 points will lie on face BC as well on face CD in between
space BC somewhere here. I will get three five points on this CD from C at a distance of uh, something somewhere here. I will get three and five points. So three and five points will lie on BC as well as on CD also. Now observe point four. Point four is also lying on face BC somewhere here and also on the face CD somewhere here. Okay, after transferring all these uh, cutting points onto the top view, then draw the stretch out lines from the bottom base and from the top base, something like this. Now take this length 25 and taking this length 25, you mark uh, four divisions along the stretch out lines are two parallel lines. Now I am starting from somewhere here and this is 25 distance. I will mark the first phase. Next with same 25 distance you mark the second phase, third phase and fourth phase. Now give the names for all these uh, phase edges. This is A phase edge, B, C, D and A. Now I want to transfer all these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 points to the development. Draw a locus line from one dash. This is the locus line from one dash. Draw a locus line from seven dash. This is the locus line from seven dash. So automatically these one seven points are on A face edge. So intersection points of this face edge A and these locus lines will give one and seven points on the development. Something like this. Here I will get one. Here I will get seven. Again this one face edge is somewhere here. So again I will get 1 here, 7 here. Now I want to transfer 2 6 points. So draw the locus lines from 6 and 2. Now these, are, these locus lines will uh, give the information about height. So but what is the distance of the 2 6 points from face at A? That information is available in the top view. This is the distance. This distance you take with compass and you mark this distance somewhere here from A. Something like this. Here this distance is equal to this distance. This distance you have, you have to consider from the top view. Now from this point draw a line pa perpendicular to this baseline. So I am drawing a perpendicular line to this baseline. Now here observe the intersection point of uh, this perpendicular line and these two locus lines. This perpendicular line and this locus line intersection point is somewhere here and that will give point 2. And this intersection point of this perpendicular line and this line locus line at 6 will give point 6. Similarly here two 6 points are in between AB and also in between DA. So here from D you mark the distance, this distance you mark, you take this distance with compass and you mark the distance here. Somewhere here I will get that point. From this point you drop a perpendicular. So now again you consider the intersection points with respect to 2, 6 and this perpendicular line. Automatically you will get point 2 here, point 6 here. Next we have to transfer 3, 5 points onto the development. Now take the distance of 3, 5 points from B from the top view, the distance you take with compass and mark the distance after B. Okay, before that draw the locus lines from 3 dash and 5 dash. After that take the distance and mark the distance after B somewhere here. From that point you draw a perpendicular. Now observe, the intersection point of this locus line and this perpendicular line will give 3 somewhere here and 5 somewhere here. Now in the same way here after uh, c in between C and D after C at this much distance 3 5 points are there that means you take this total distance and you mark the distance from C that is somewhere here. Now from here drop a perpendicular. Now automatically you will get the 3 5 points with respect to this perpendicular line and these two locus lines from 3 dash and 5 dash. Here I will get 3 point here I will get 5 point. Now draw a locus line from 4 dash. Now mark the distance of 4 from B 
from the top view so this is the point for from there this is the uh, uh, distance with respect to point 4 from here drop a perpendicular the intersection point of this perpendicular and this locus line will give 4 similarly this 4 point is again in between C and D so here in between C and D you mark the distance from there you drop a perpendicular the intersection point of this perpendicular and the locus at 4 dash will give 4 now join all these points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 points with a smooth curve on both sides here you will get one smooth curve here we will get one smooth curve then the resultant development of uh, this particular portion of the object is something like this